A pandemic, a disease that infects the whole world, takes it by storm. China provides us with an interesting new strain of something almost annually. A good five million have died of it to date, 20 million have it now, and at least three times as many are going about their business blithely unaware. It might seem that these sentences were written sometime in 2020, but in fact they were uttered by a character in The White Disease, a drama by the Czech author, playwright and journalist Karel Čapek, first staged in 1937. In a nameless country, a dictator known only as the Marshal is getting ready for war. Meanwhile, an incurable disease is spreading, affecting only people over the age of 45. Similar to leprosy, it destroys human tissue. It is ugly, it is messy, and invariably results in a painful death. Even the best clinic in the country can only provide treatment that is hardly better than a placebo, and the military regime even considers sending the sick away to guarded camps. However, a doctor named Galen, who only treats the poor, discovers a miraculous cure. He is willing to disclose his formula on one condition. Dr. Galen wants all wars to stop. He won't give his cure to any country unless it signs a universal peace treaty. At first, his request is rejected only when those in power realize they too are vulnerable to the white disease do they change their mind. But it is already too late. With a growing militarization in neighboring Germany, Karel Čapek's pacifist message was all the more poignant. When the white disease premiered, the Czech visionary author had less than two years to live. At the time of his untimely death of pneumonia in December 1938, just months before the Nazi occupation of the Czech lands, the Gestapo had already planned his arrest. 